Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable disk with Kali Linux or any other Linux distribution. So we're going to use our USB drive to create a bootable disk and we can then install Kali Linux or any other Linux distribution on our PC. So what we need is the ISO file of whatever operating system we want to install and also Win32 Dix Imager. So to download Win32 Dix Imager, just head to your browser and then search for Win32 Dix Imager. You can see the first page over here going to Source Forge. Click on it. And then click on Download button over here to download Win32 Dix Imager and it should start downloading. Now I already have this downloaded so I don't really need to download again. After downloading Win32 Dix Imager, also download the operating system you want to create a bootable disk with. So in this case, I'm going to create a bootable disk using Kali Linux. This same method works with other Linux distributions. So I can just head to Kali.org which is the official website to download Kali Linux. And then click on the download button on their site. And then I download Kali Linux installer image. It will take you down here. And then you download the complete installer image. If it is Kali Linux, you want to create a bootable disk switch. If you want Manjaro or Linux Mint, you can just search for it, go to the website and download the ISO. After downloading both files, we can close our browser, open our download folder, and then install Win32 Dix Imager. <coughs> Accept the agreement. Next. Install. Let's launch Win32 Dix Imager. Okay, so we are good to go. Now you can see that the size of this file is 3.6 GB. So if you have an 8 GB flash drive, it should work. If you have 16 GB, it should work. In my case, I have a 16 GB flash drive which I am going to connect to my PC now. And here is my 16 GB. Now, if you have any file inside, you can just back up to your PC and then make sure you format it just to make sure everything is clear. Format complete. Okay, let's close this. And then on Win32 Dix Imager, under the device section, you can see R, which is our USB pen drive. You can see R pen 16. So make sure the drive is selected here. And then for the image file, click on the folder icon. And then select our Kali Linux file. Now you can see it is empty. It is not showing here. And that is because this is looking for .img files. So what you do is click on this selector over here. And then change the selector down here. And everything should show. Now we can just click on Kali Linux and then open. Now all you need to do is click on write and it would create a bootable disk with our flash drive. So let's click on write. Click on yes. It is going to erase everything on this drive which clearly nothing is there. So you see the write speed over here and you see the estimated time. Now the speed depends on your computer and your drive as well. So you just have to wait patiently. And the process is completed. This took about 9 minutes. Now we can exit. So you can insert the USB in any PC you want to install the operating system. And then you can boot from the USB and run your installation. So basically this is how to create a bootable disk using Kali Linux or any other Linux distribution. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.